What is up, all you beautiful, beautiful Valifiers? Today's video, we're going to be going over a couple of updates that you might have missed from the last AMA. The date is currently Thursday, May 26th. The last AMA was last Friday. Uh, and we made a couple of updates that I do want to go over really quick that just in case you missed it. So as you can see over here, I have this launch schedule up here for a good reason, because what we did is we pushed back the launch schedule by about a week and a half, by a week or two. As you can see right now, the actual public launch is going to be around July 10th right now. Now, the main reason why we did this, Blade, why did you do this? Why did you guys do this? Well, the reason is, is because we wanted to make sure that our stable price algorithm was in place and was done right before we actually launched. So we had this idea that we were actually previously, we were talking to Horde, but that didn't really work out. And we wanted to... And we thought this idea of having this stable price, this market neutral stable price was going to be phenomenal. So what we did is we put together a team. We put together a fantastic team. And they told us from the day that I was talking to them before, well, a couple weeks ago, that it was going to be done within a certain allocated time period. I think it was like six weeks from when they started. And so we want this to launch perfectly. We don't want anything to go wrong. And realistically, the coding isn't that difficult. OK, it really isn't what comes down to what really takes the most amount of time is the testing. OK, the testing and the auditing makes you, is what really makes up this stable price algorithm. So what we want to ensure is that we allocate enough time to be able to test this code the right way. And now pretty much how the stable price algorithm works is it kind of works just to just run it up, just to make it simple on you guys. The way the stable price algorithm work, or we call it the SPA, which I'm so happy is actually worked out that way. It's called SPA. But the way that it works is it does a couple of things. So it's, it's a bot that allows you to not only just purchase on our actual DAP, but you can purchase on like Trader Joe's, our, our value token. But what how, pretty much how it works, how this keeps the price within a certain allocated boundary. So I'm talking like if we have the top height at 42, let's say 40 bucks, top height may at 42, the bottom might be like 38 and it keeps it between there. It actually does a very fantastic job doing it. So, but the way it works is it increases and decreases supply to allocate, to allow for a, a, a a cushion barrier for large orders. So let's say someone's making a massive sell order. Okay. What it's going to do is it's going to allocate the supply. It's going to either add or decrease the supply. And so that large sell order doesn't decrease the price dramatically. Or let's say somebody wants to buy a large amount. Okay. That, that, that large amount of transactions will make the price more volatile. So what, by having this increase or decrease in supply, it's going to allow that volatility to kind of go away. In addition to that, obviously it doesn't know we're buying and selling to keep it in between, but that's mainly a, a massive gist of what this spa is going to do. Okay. So now that you kind of understand that, by the way, if you have further questions on kind of how that works, we're very open to it and what we're doing by the end of this week, today's Thursday, I'm pretty sure I can confidently say that we're going to have it the, the white paper updated on exactly how this works by Saturday, but I don't want to go into too crazy in detail onto it because that's how it works. So knowing that we have to push back a launch date by like a week or two, what we decided was it would be fair for everybody is if we allow you guys to, for those who need it, to get a refund. So as you can see over here, we put this announce over here. And honestly, <laughs> Honestly, I think we're the first like crypto based company that offered a refund, you know, and we're really, I mean, we're proud of this. I mean, we're so confident in our project that we, we want this to be available to you guys because we understand life sometimes gets in the way. We understand that. Trust me. We understand that. We understand that maybe that because this, this period was pushed out two weeks, you're not going to be making passive income for another like two weeks. You might need that money for something else, or you might need the money to pay rent, or I don't know, whatever it is. But we felt obligated. We felt it was the right thing to do to be able to give you a refund on the value tokens and on the yield boxes so that you can take that money elsewhere where if it was an emergency, right? We don't want your money to be stuck somewhere where it's not making you money for an additional two weeks, okay? Because we understand that, we, like we said, 
we have to have these extra two weeks so that we can make sure the stable price algorithm works perfectly. Okay. We don't want, we don't want to cut in on the development slash testing period because if we do, we don't want to risk the quality of this the algorithm, the stable price algorithm. So that being said, if you guys hop over to our lovely discord over here you go over to the announcements over here as you can see over here it says in bold refund value over here all you do is you click that and it takes you to the page okay to refund it next thing over here is you refund your yield box over here too and what will come down how how this works is right now i'm not plugged into anything oh, let me finish let me connect hold up a second let me connect to it Cool. If I just connect to my wallet, as you can see, I have a couple of yield keys, yield box allocated, yield box price, claim above amount. So currently, I don't have any yield boxes on my account. But if you were to have yield boxes that you wanted to get refunded, you would see over here, it would show the claimable amount, and you have a button that you can just click it, and you'd be able to claim back the amount of money that you spent that you invested to buy these yield boxes. Very simple. And it transferred just like that. Okay. Same thing as per the actual value tokens, okay? It would show the val amount of value that you have, claimable amount, blah, blah, and you just claim it just like that. And it's very, very simple, guys. One quick thing I want to give you guys a quick sneak peek on, because I felt like this is right, is that we are updating our website. So right now, you go to Valify. Oops. Go to Valify.app, and you're going to see our site like this. Obviously, you guys have probably seen this before. What we're doing is we're updating this now to look more like this, right? Just more sleek, more straight to the point. I don't want to go too heavily into it. But yeah, we're updating the website completely. These is going to be a little animated. It's going to look a little pretty cool. And what we're trying to do, what we're trying to build, is trying to build a site that just gets straight to the freaking point, you know? Obviously, all this stuff is going to be changing stuff. It's going to be how does it work? Straight blade. Just how does it work? How do I make money, you know? Whereas our old website was kind of bouncing around everywhere, I personally feel like, and it felt a little more templatey. What we're doing is just updating the site. So I'm trying to say, okay, yeah. So getting a refund or reset your allowance allowed to purchase your boxes again to the presale period June 25th. Pretty simple, guys. And like I said, this is what this is meant for. This refund period is meant for people that need the money for emergencies. You know. It's meant to be there to help you guys out. And we wanted to be able to allow that. I think that's, that was a very important. And, you know, we were always, we were always talk about transparency and Valify. And I, we felt as though that was the honest, most honest thing that we could do to help you guys out. But knowing the fact that we had to move back the date about like two weeks. And we felt that was the most fair thing we can do. But yeah, so that was pretty much the updates that I wanted to lay on you guys. I hope that helped. Uh, and we're, another cool thing really quick is that I love that the, the price of the Yuki is staying, but whatever. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, as always, 100%, guys, feel free to reach out to us every morning. Me personally, this is what I do every morning. I wake up, I do my push-ups, and I check my messages, and I answer them, you know? So we are always here to help you guys out. If you guys have any technicalities or some maybe something glitchy or buggy or something like that, you can always make sure you go over to submit a ticket and submit a ticket on the left hand side. You go over here, ticket submission over here, and you click on that and click create a ticket. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow it to go to the right respective person and they're going to answer your question better. Or if it's a glitch, they're fix it for you. But once again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. And I'll talk to you all later, guys.